Wake up, you all. Turks math. Lesson. Take another brand new day. Today, you are going to have another wonderful lesson. But followers, viewers, day. If today is your first time of being our channel, don't forget to tap. on the notification button to notify you anytime we load a new lesson. Thank you very much and may God bless you for tapping on it. Good morning class. Good morning. Very good. Today we are going to look at another simple lesson. And this lesson is based on the division. Now, you know the forms of division methods. The method that you use to divide numbers. Can you mention some of the methods that you know? Please, if you know, you just raise up your hand and I'll call you. Yes? Long division. Long division method. Uh -huh. Sharing method. Uh -huh. Number line method. Number line method. Uh -huh. Yes? Repeated subtraction method. Repeated subtraction method. Clap yourselves. Another one again. Very good. These are the basic forms of what? Division method. Now, let's go to the slide and look at the forms of division method. Give us the forms of division method from the slide. Long division method. But if you take note, we have what? The long division method. Scaffold division method. Scaffold division method. Sharing method. Sharing method. Repeated subtraction method. Repeated subtraction method. And number line method. And number line method. So in all, how many methods do you have there? How many methods? Five. Five methods, isn't it? Yes. Very good. Which of that method is odd to you? It's odd. You have not seen it before. Yes? Scaffold division method. Very good. This scaffold division method is not any new method. This method has been there for a long time. So today we are going to look at what scaffold division method. So from the slide, what they say scaffold division method is? Scaffold division method is used to divide large numbers into smaller groups of parts. It is used to divide what large numbers into what smaller groups of parts. Very good, very good. The scaffold division method is also known as what the big seven strategy. As you have it on the slide, it's also known as what? The Big Seven Strategy. And why do we call it the Big Seven Strategy? Because the structure, okay, the structure that we use looks like what? Seven. That is why we call it what? The Big Seven Strategy. Now let's move on to the structure of the scaffold division method. Now, look at the structure on the slide. I hope you can all see the structure. Yes. And how does this look like? Yes, yes. It looks like a seven. It looks like what? Seven. Very good. It looks like the number seven. Are you together? Yes. Very good. So from the slide, you can see that at the back of the structure, this number at the side there. Then the inside have what? The dividend inside. Then at the, right, at the left side of the structure, we have what? The divisor. And at the top of it, we have what? The quotient. Then at the top of it, we see A, B, C. You put the A, B, C together to give us what? The quotient. Then at the side of it, we have guess numbers. So in Stafford Division Method, we use what? Guess numbers. So the numbers that you guess are written at the back of the structure. So where do you write the guest numbers? Where do you write the guest numbers? Right, right side of what? Of the structure. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Very good. Now, let's look at the steps that are involved in scaffold division method. Quickly take us through the slide of the steps that are involved. Guess. And what letters that guess? G. G. So G, guess. Very good. The second step? Multiply. 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 Very good. The third step? Subtract. Subtract. Very good. Uh -huh. Repeat or remainder. Repeat or what? Remainder. 
So what are the steps that are involved in scaffold division method? The first one, guess the number. Guess the number and then multiply. Multiply and then subtract. And then repeat. Remain that. Very good. Give a clap to yourself. So these are the steps that are involved in scaffold division method. Now, I have some beautiful example here on the slide. I have 42 divided by 3. And this 42 divided by 3, in the structure, we have what? 42 inside the structure, with the 42 star for what? The dividend. So we place it inside the structure. Now, then the divisor is out, at where we have the mark of the 7. So we put the divisor there, that is 3. Then you can see some numbers at the side, at the right side of the structure. And these numbers are 10, 4. So these numbers are known as what? The guess numbers. When you guess the number as 10, I guess the number 10. Then multiply the 10 by the divisor. So 10 times 3 will give us what? 30. That's why in the slide we have 30 there. So 42 minus 30. Yes? 12. 12. Very good. So you get another number again. So at the side there, I have 4. So I get 4 to multiply by the divisor. So 4 times 3 will give us 12. 12. When you subtract 12 minus 12, we get what? 0. 0. Do you have any number there again? No. no. So what are the numbers that we used to get? What are the numbers? Yes, we have 4 and what? 10. 10. So we are going to add 4 and 10 together. So 4, 10 plus 4 will give us what? 14. So it means that 42 divided by 3 is what? 14. You see how beautiful the scaffold division method is? Yes. yes. Very good. So now we are going to move to the board and start to play with numbers. Are you ready? Yes. Now let's look at some of the examples that we are going to look at. Yes, from the slide. What are the examples? 54 divided by 6. That's the first example. The first example is what? 54 divided by what? 6. So I have it there. 54 divided by what? 6. Now, let me tell you something here. When you come to scaffold division meeting, when you guess the number, when you guess the number, then you multiply the number by the divisor. You are going to have a product. The product should not be more than the dividend. I said what? The product should not be more than what? The dividend. When it is more than the, uh, the dividend, you reject that number. It can be lesser than or what? Equal to. Are you together? Yeah. So I'm going to take the first one for you. Then you look at how it is. The first one here is divided by 6, as we have on the slide. So 54 inside. 354 is a dividend. Then the 6 at the left side. Now I'm going to guess. So I start with 4. You can also pick any number at all. But I love 4. So I write 4 at the right side of the structure. Now, what is the next start? I guess, isn't it? Yes. The second one is what? Multiply. multiply. So I'm going to multiply this by what? This, isn't it? Yes. So 4 times 6 will give us what? 24. 24. So we have the 24. Now what is the second step? The third step? Subtract. You subtract, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we to subtract. 4 minus 4? 0. 0. 5 minus 2? 3. 3. Very good. We have another number here. So here again, I'm going to guess another number. Then multiply by the divisor. With the product should not be more than what? 30. It can be lesser than. So I'm going to guess a number. So I'm going to guess 5. I know when I guess 5, when I guess 5, 5 times 6 will give me 30. Yes. Right? You can use any different number to arrive at 0. So I'm going to guess 5. So I have my 5 here. 5 times 6? 30. 30. Is not equal to? Yes. Very good. Then you subtract. 0 minus 0? Zero. 0. 0, right? Yes. 3 minus 3? Zero. 0. 0. Do you have any number there again? No. No. So we don't have any remainder. 
So what's the next thing that you are going to do? Anna said, what's the next thing you are going to do? Add. We will add. What numbers are you going to add? Four. Four and what? Five. Five. Four plus five will give us nine. Nine. So therefore, 54 divided by six is what? Nine. Very good. Clap for yourself there. Now, what is the second example? The second example from the slide. What is the second example? 171 divided by 3. So that's the second example. 171 divided by 3. Very good. So we have here 1, 7, 1. Then where should I write the 3? Outside. Outside. Now, how many tickets do you have inside? Three. We have 3 tickets. Now, pay attention here. Find the gate by three digits. Now, using the scaffold division method, please, you can use, you can guess what, two digits to make the work very simple. So here I'm going to guess what, two digits. Now the digits should end with what, zero. You know number that end with zero? What, sorry, number that end with zero? Ten. That zero. Yes? Ten. Ten, uh -huh. Twenty, uh -huh. Twenty, uh -huh. Twenty, uh -huh. Fifty. 50, 40, 100. But you are using two digits, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go with two digits. Let's. So here yeah, I write 50. Let me start. 50. 50. Now, in a simple way, you can multiply direct by saying 3 times 50, which will give us what? 150. Or 3 times 5 will give us what? 15. Then attach the 0 to it, which becomes what? 150. Are you following? Yes, yes. So 3 times 50 will give us what? 150. 150. So you write your 150. Nicely. Very good. So what's the next step? What's the next step? We will subtract, right? Yes. 0, sorry, 1 minus 0. 1. one. 7 minus 5. 2. 2. 1 minus 1. 0. So what's the next step now? You are going to repeat the process again, isn't it? Repeat. We don't have any remainder. Yes, we are going to guess now. Let's guess a number. Seven. Seven. Seven, uh, seven times three. Twenty-one. Twenty-one is equal to so I cannot write my seven. So I put down my seven. Now what's the next thing? Yes, what's the next thing? Multiply. You multiply. So three times seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So I'm going to do what now? Zero. Zero. Now after doing this all, then you come to us. Ah, the number is here. Have you Yes. Fifty plus seven. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. We have fifty-seven. So here is what? Fifty-seven. So our question is what? Fifty-seven. Now let's look at what? Example three. Now, what is our example 3? 132 divided by 12. Divided by 12. Very good. So, what should I write inside here? 132. 132, right? Yes. Then, here? 12. 12. How many tickets do you have here? 3. 3 tickets. So, what are the numbers you are going to guess? Is it going to be 1 digit or 2 digit? Two digits. Two digits because we have what? Three digits. You can guess one digit, right? But when you guess one digit, the process will be very hard. long. You understand? Yeah. So you use what? Two digits. Two digits ending to a zero, zero, zero. So let's start. Uh -huh. Ten. Ten. Very good. Ten. So one, zero. Are you seeing it? Yeah. One, zero. Which give us what? Ten. Twelve times ten. 120. 120. Very good. 120. 2 minus 0. 2. 3 minus 2. 1. 1 minus 1. 0. So you are going to guess another number again. We can be equal to 12 or less than 12. Yes? One. One. Very good. One. So one times twelve will give us twelve. Twelve. Two minus two. 
Zero. Zero. One minus one. Zero. Zero. So what are, what are we going to do now? We will add. What numbers are you going to add? The guest numbers. And what are the guest numbers? Ten and one. Ten and one. So ten plus one will give us eleven. Eleven. The eleven will be written at the top here. So our quotient here is what? Eleven. Example four. Right? Yeah. And what's our example for? 238 divided by 7. Seven. Very good. So you have 2, 3, 8. Then you have what? 7. Right. So here again, I'm going to guess the numbers. But I'm going to use 2 digits. Right? Yeah. Now, now, we want a number that when you multiply by 7, you have. 238 or less than that. Right? Yes. But those numbers should be what? Two digits. The numbers should be maybe 5, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. In that order. And the word will be very beautiful. Yes? Uh -huh. So I told you you can use what? 2, multiply it and into that number by what? 0. Yeah. So let's take like 3. 3. Then our increase is what? Then we become what? 30. Now, 7 times 30. Let's check. What? 7 times 30? 200 and what? 10. Because 7 times 3 is 21. Yeah. Increase to 21 with 0, I'll get what? 200 and what? 10. 2, 1, 0. So what's the next step now? We subtract. We subtract. Very good. 8 minus 0? 8. 8. 6. 3 minus 1? 2. 2 minus 2? 0. 0. Very good. Let me pick another number here. I'll pick. Now we are left with how many digits here? 2 digits. So this I'm not going to use 2 digits. I'm going to use what? 1 digit. So let me test 4. Or 3. Let's test 3. Oh, oh. We should use 4, eh? Yes. Okay. Hey. And this one? Yes. 7 times 4? 28. 28. It is equal to, so you can use the present yeah. So 28. So you write 28. Where is that now? Mr. Yes. Yes. Pratt. We are going to have 8 minus 8? 0. 0. 2 minus 2? 0. 0. Very good. Do you have any number here? No. no. Right? Yes. So we are going to add, add the numbers that we have here. 30 plus 4. 34. 34, right? Yes. So why was I going to write 34? 34. At the top here, isn't it? Yes. 34. So 228 divided by 7 is what? 34. 34. Thank you. Work for yourselves. 6,375. Divided by 50. Divided by what? 50. 50. All right. So what am I going to write this? This one will be inside, isn't it? Yes. Now we have six, three, seven, seven five. five. And outside we what? Fifteen. Right? So how many gates are you going to get now? Three. 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 Why are you going to get three gates? Why are you going to get three gates? Yes? Because the dividend is in uh, four digits. Because the dividend is in what? Four digits. Give me a big laugh. Very good. Now, so let's guess now. Yes, so you know that break now, isn't it? Yes. You guess maybe two, then increase it with what? Two zeros. Right? Yes. So what about you pick? Uh -huh. 200. 200. Have you done your test? Yes. To test? Yes. Okay. So 200 times 15? 3,000. 3,000. It is less, isn't it? Yes. So 3,000. So what is the next step now? We subtract. We are going to subtract now. 5 minus 0? 5. 5. 7 minus 0? 7. 3 minus 0? 3. 3. 6 minus 3? 3. We still have four digits, so let's guess again. Yes? 200. So what's that 20? 
That means that you are going to use the whole day. Okay? So you are going to use what? Two hundred. Okay? Two hundred. The same step, two hundred. So when you multiply, you are going to have the same value. Eh? Yeah. The value is what? The same. You are going to have what? Three hundred. So now let's subtract. Five. Five. Beautiful. Five and half. Seven. Seven and half. Three. Three. Right. Now, how many tickets are you going to get now? Two. Two. Because you are left with how many tickets here? Three. Three tickets. So let's get two tickets and half. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Somebody say twenty. Someone also say what? Fifteen. You test the fifteen. Okay. Someone also say eight. But we have already written what? 20. So you can use any number at all. So you can also be working. Are you together? Very good. So 20 times 15. 300. 300. So now let's have class. 5. 5. 7. 7. 0, isn't it? Yes. Now let's get another number. That can give us 75 or less than 75. 5. 5. So you write your five down. Five times fifteen. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Beautiful. Right? Yeah. Now the next step is what? Subtract. So when subtract, you're going to have what? Zero. 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 So what the next thing you're going to do? You add, you add the guest numbers. numbers. Okay? From top to down or down to top. Because the supporting is like a ladder. So either you climb up or you be same, right? Yes. Right. Now, let's add now. 200 plus 200. 400. Are you sure? Yes. Very good. 400 plus 20. 420. 420. 420 plus 5. 425. 425. So we are going to have 400 and what? 25. 25. So therefore, 6,375 divided by 50 is 425. This is our whole shape. So this method is very simple and nice. If you know your addition and your basic multiplication, you can know that you are going to practice more on your own. Mass, we need what? Constant practice. Thank you all for paying attention. My be right there. Don't forget to practice. Also, to share, to comment, and also like. You can also download it for your kids, your limits, to watch, to make your lesson very simple. Thank you all. May God bless you. Bye-bye.